All righty, Wyatt. Thank you. Uh, thanks for spending a little time here. We got a bunch of local folks on and, and some media from the NFL as well. Um, let's start it out with Jeremy Birmingham, Letterman Row. Hey, Wyatt, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, how much time have you spent in the last couple months preparing for this and how much of it has been spent just trying to rehab and get yourself back to 100%? Uh, and on top of that, I mean, how, how do you feel like you you put it on display today? Yeah, so uh, no, def rehab has definitely been the priority for me, um, especially after going down that national championship game, uh, just making sure that I uh, did everything possible to make sure my knee was fully ready and 100% uh, ready to go today, which I feel like, uh, you know, I executed that, um, especially with the plan that was set by uh, my agency as, as well as myself when I was back training for this opportunity. So um, I hit all those goals and came out today, and I felt like I, I did a very good day of, of showing um, that my knee is perfectly fine. It's back to 100%, and uh, I feel like I was able to do so with these drills. And I feel like it was a really good day for me. All right, let's go next to Nick Fer Farabaugh. Nick. Hey, Wyatt. Um, as, a, as a guy that has really been through the ringer as a guard there in, in the Ohio State scheme, really what are you looking to improve on at the NFL level? Because your game is pretty polished as is. Um, so what's your biggest area of improvement? Also, have you talked at all to the Pittsburgh Steelers and, and kind of what has that communication been? Yep. So to answer your first question, um, you know, for me, I feel like the biggest thing has been uh, pass protection, which is what I've been working on, um, as well as a as, as few things in the run game. Uh, for me, I feel like my technique, especially at the next level, is something that I, I definitely need to improve in order to have the, the type of success I, I want to have. So just working the basic techniques as well as new and advanced techniques is what, I, what I've been focusing on and working on in, in both aspects of, of the game, as well as being an overall better student of the game. And uh, that, that's all stuff that I've been working on. And to answer your second question, I, uh, you know, I've, I've had communication with the Steelers. It's been um, pretty standard, in my opinion. I feel like, um, um, you know, we, we just had the, the normal Zoom calls and they, they went well. So uh, pretty standard communication. That's why. No All righty, next up, let's go to Cassidy Hill. Cassidy. Hey, Wyatt, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, so I covered the Jaguars. So I have to know, when you hear that your former coach gets hired in the NFL and that you're going into the draft this next season, what's the first thought that goes through your head? You know, that it, the first thought that went to my head was, man, this would be crazy if the, the same person that recruited me to Ohio State would be the same person to pick me. So that was first and foremost the, the – the, the first thought and two, just, just exciting. You know, I'm really excited that he, he got back into football. Um, and uh, cause I know when he would come down here and talk to us, you could, you could just tell he still had that competitive spirit. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what, what he does at this level. And uh, I also wouldn't mind playing for, for him as well. I know he was out there to watch y'all today. Did he seem like the same old coach Meyer or was there a different feel to how he was handling things today? Nope, he, he seemed like uh, same old Coach Meyer called me up and, and we were talking and uh, it felt good seeing him today and talking to him. So it was still the, the same coach that, that I grew to know. Thank you. All righty, next up, let's go to Dan Hope. Dan. Hey, Wyatt, you said you thought you had a very good day. What in particular do you think that you did really well today? I feel like in particular it was uh, the field work and, and mainly the O-line position drills, which I know um, a lot of teams, they hold high value to that, especially with the type of drills that we had set um, today. And uh, it was all drills sent from the uh, NFL coaches themselves, what they wanted to see. And it was all... Uh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, it was all... Um, it was all short change of direction, which I think is stuff that, that is really important for my position specifically because we work within a short space. So I feel like my, my change of direction was something that I really showed off today. Any numbers you put up today that you were particularly proud of? Uh, yes, well, with my bench, I, I was, I was, I'm pretty happy with 25. I, uh, I did 25 reps today. That were counted. <laughs> All right, we'll go next to... Um... Well, I'm going to butcher this name. Uh, the Bills beat. Right. Ryan Davis. What's good? Mookie Hawk. Mookie Hawk is well for sports today. Buffalo. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, that's all right for him not to butcher the name. <laughs> I appreciate that though. But, uh, hey man, hey, you being a zone, a zone run type of blocker, very versatile. Um, 
how how has Ohio State prepared you for this moment, and has the Bills been in contact with you? Yeah, so um, to answer your first question, yes, uh, I've been in contact with the Bills, and and to uh, Ohio State, I feel like has has put me in, in such a good position. Especially, it shows um, not only within, within my film, but in these meetings, and uh, with the type of offense we ran, it's so similar to you know the Bills type of offense and and other teams that like to run zone. So when I go into these meetings. It's pretty much the same same stuff, except just different terminology. You know, they call it different things, and and it, it, I feel like uh, it, I've gotten an advantage by going to Ohio State and playing in this type of offense. Hey, it's been awesome, right, right, man. Enjoy the process, and I got you top on my mic for it right now. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you very much, thank you. All right, we'll do two more. Uh, we'll go to first to Austin Ward, Austin. Hey, White, now that now that the year is over, you know, we knew that those last three, four games that you were in pain, but you were going to keep playing. Can you give us some insight of how much you were dealing with, how long it took you till you were feeling, you know, healthy enough to do stuff like today? Yeah, so, you know, I had actually gotten injured at some point during the fourth game of the season, which was Indiana. And to this day, I still don't know when I, I, um, I uh, injured my knee in that game, but you know, I, I banged up my knee in that game and really just played on it the whole entire time um, leading up to the national championship and, you know, got got it looked at by, um, you know, the school. And, you know, they were just saying it was a low-level deal. And, you know, it just didn't feel right. So at the end of the season, I got a second opinion. And, um, you know, I think it showed in that national championship game that it was, it was really bothering me. Um, and, uh, you know, fortunately, I, I didn't have to go through any, any major – surgery, anything like that. I didn't have to get surgery at all. Uh, it was all a blessing. And and really just my main whole focus after um, the season was just getting my knee right. Because, you know, granted, you know, I, I wanted to play, even if I would have known what my injury was prior, um, I still would have played just because it's, it's, we, we were right there. Um, you know, it was either all in or nothing. So it was pretty easy for me to make that decision. And then in the off season, when I was getting ready for this opportunity today, I spent the first couple of weeks just rehabbing, strictly rehabbing, making sure it felt great. And uh, once it really started feeling good, that's that's when I started doing field work and getting prepared for the day. Thanks, man. All right, we got Jonathan Cooper ready. So uh, Wyatt, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. And next up, we'll go with.